Uh, that is the first duck that I've ever shot. Good morning, guys. I know it looks like night, but believe me, it's morning. Today, we're gonna do something different. I've never hunted for ducks before. Everyone really loves it, and it's something that people have been telling me to do on this channel for quite a while. I don't personally have the gear, so thankfully, I met someone through this YouTube channel, and he's gonna take me out. He's got some decoys, he's got the blind, and we're gonna see if we can't get some ducks this morning. But first, we gotta get out there, get set up before the sun rises. Uh, so, I will see you guys out there. No, nope, I didn't. I think I was looking at the camera. Oh, yeah, I see those right above us. Never all see those. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It gets so irritating to be like, oh, bird. Oh, yeah. Don't want to That's shoot good. one of those. <laughs> That's a federal. Yeah, federal offense. it is. Oh, no kidding. I think you can see some birds in the river down there. If you look yeah, I, oh, yeah. Quite a few of them. Man, there's a big group of them. Hold on. I think there might be some black ducks in there. Man, I wish we had like a a canoe or kayak. Some way to retrieve birds out of there, that's where I would have sat us this morning, either there or up in this corner here, because there's actually a little blind that's already pre-made, more or less, in this corner here. If I had that, I think would, I would definitely be sitting there, but I just, you got to be able to retrieve birds. Yep, no point in shooting them if you can't get them, that's yeah. for sure. That is a duck. No, that's a, that's a cormorant. See how long the tail is? Yeah, that's a big bird. Yeah, that's a cormorant. That's in A little excitement. So, how are you enjoying bird walking so far? I mean, I like being out in the morning. It's my favorite time to do anything, whether I'm successful or not. Mm -hmm. It's just a good time to be up. I agree. I go more for the experience than actually getting something. I mean, it helps. Yeah. <laughs> it makes for good days, but yeah. if that's all you enjoy, then you're in the wrong sport. Guys, come in. What are they doing? They're just looking. You see them still? Yeah, they're wrapping back around this island. <laughs> they're gonna come straight up the river again. A lot of times they go like this. No, kind of circle. Them. in that corner. One of them dead. There's another one still in the air. I wonder if he picked me out, to be honest. I don't think so. Well, because like, we're coming actually this way and he flared. He flared left, so I think he That was exciting though. <laughs> yeah, it was some sort of action. I think I'm ready to go try to jump out of those ducks. I'm for it. So what's, what's the goal? What do you want to do? I think we're just going to try to keep, creep up along here get low when we get to the river because I don't think they're going to be much farther away. They like that that corner right there where that blind is. Mm -hmm. They really liked it and there's a reason that blind's there. I'm going to try to sneak up in there. You get like 40 yards from the river and they pop up. Feel free to have at it. Alright, well let's get it. Deer hunting mindset there. One silhouette. Here's the hope of this side. I come, just come straight. Okay. That way, you know, they don't see us anymore from either side. But we're going to want to be on 10 yards upside of it, at least. Oh, oh, oh. You see all those? Did you see them? Yeah. Is that the pile you're talking about? Yeah. That we can probably make it to. All right, well, that's a good sign. It could be a lot more than we think. If we can get up to that corner.
Oh! Hey, behind us, behind us, behind us. Right in front of us, there's ducks. That one? We can't do one. That's the first one. Oh! Alright, you got one for sure on that one. Yeah, I got that one. I hopefully he's on this side. That was sweet. There it is. No way. Mine there. And that's mine down there. Okay. Yep. That was a hell of a shot. Dude, that was fun. I knew he was somewhere around there. All right. <laughs> A couple ducks. Well done, man. That was fun. Beautiful black duck. See, what I mean? See the speck color? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it does change, doesn't it? Yeah. No bands. It's like a pearlescent. Okay, as long as he's not dead. No, he's, he's he gave me a heart attack when he swerved on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was tons of birds in there. This doesn't tell you the sex, though? Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. It is beautiful. Well, that pretty much hooked me. That was, Man, that was cool, though. I didn't expect that many birds. No, we were flush, flushing them left and right. These few, the three or four that came up with these guys were perfect though. Oh my God. Oh geez, I can't even fit them in the frame. <laughs> these are not small ducks. Here. Well, there we go, we got two ducks. Both black ducks, right? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know which one I shot. I think I got this one. Yours is the one with the bum wing. Bum wing, yeah. But that was awesome. We just decided to make our own luck, snuck, on, snuck up on them a little bit, and they both flushed out of this area right behind us. Uh, that is the first duck that I've ever shot. So super pumped about that. Thank you so much for putting me on those, Aaron. No problem. That's, uh, that's huge. And so you were saying the, the male, because you can see two very different colors here. Which one was the male again? The male's yellow. Okay. Females are olive green. Jeez, these are way bigger than I thought. Gonna make an awesome meal. Super excited to try those, but we're gonna see if we can't get a few more. I think our limit is two each, so yep. still got some to go, and there's plenty of other species flying around too. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap. That was uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. I I enjoyed duck hunting a lot more than I expected. That was really a blast, literally. We saw a ton of ducks, and also I want to thank Aaron for taking me out there. Uh, I really appreciate that. I just I don't have the gear, I don't have decoys, I don't know how to call, and I really don't even have the best shotgun for it. I got my 20, but thanks to my brother for letting me borrow his 12 gauge. That was a huge right. help. So we didn't get we didn't get all that many ducks, but I did get that one duck, and I'm super excited about that. So that's my first duck that I've ever gotten and it just so happens to be a black duck which I hear are really good eating. Okay so let's get to cleaning this duck. Actually I do have something else to show you guys. So I have a new knife sent to me a little while back but I haven't done a catch and cook in a little bit and I really wanted to show you guys the unboxing of it. So this knife is actually from a subscriber. He saw my videos and he wanted to send me a knife. So stoked to have it. It's by far the nicest knife I have ever owned. So this is from Cypress Creek Knives. And I was just so impressed with <laughs> the quality of the knives and really the, the amount of care that was put into the packaging. Super nice box and then inside is the knife itself. Huge thank you to Cypress Creek Knives. I'm gonna put their information in the link below. But let's just get some B-roll of this knife so we can appreciate its beauty. Super sharp, the steel is of great quality and the grip is beautiful and it's gonna be my daily carry during these catch and cooks it's a perfect size the blade is just ideal for fishing and then butchering of small game and it's also fairly light so it's gonna fit well in my pack 
and the metal is resistant to corrosion I hear I forget exactly what kind of steel it is but it helps resist uh, corrosion from salt water and stuff like that which is big in my area all right now I'm gonna get to cleaning the duck now I don't know exactly how to do this but I think I have a pretty good idea Aaron kind of explained to me a little bit before he left so I'm pretty much gonna treat it kind of how I would a partridge in a sense but a lot more plucking on these I guess So I don't plan to pluck the whole thing. I am going to take the breasts off, and then I'm also going to take the legs. Uh, so anyway, I'll show you the meat when I'm done, but I'm not going to show the cleaning process. There's a lot of other great videos on YouTube that if you really want to see how to do this or learn how to do it, you should check those out instead. I feel like uh, there's a lot of great resources, and uh, YouTube doesn't always like it when you show those. So <laughs> go check those videos out instead, and uh, I'll check back with you in a second when I have this all cleaned up. So here is what we got out of it. Decided to keep both legs since they're a little more meaty than ruffed grouse. So those will be good. And then the meat is just really, really red. And of course this side did take a couple more BBs. But that is to be expected when you're shooting stuff on the wing. Uh, I do like to shoot partridge on the ground because you don't get that. You get this really clean meat. The meat really does look good and I've heard black ducks are great. So I'll be back with you guys in a couple days. I'll put this in the freezer for now because I don't have time to cook it up today. But I am going to cook it up pretty soon, um, actually a couple days from now, but really we're just going to skip ahead till... Now I tried to do this video outside, but it gets dark at like 4 o'clock now, and I just cannot find the time during the day to actually do this outside. Plus it's getting a little cold. Um, when I'm ice fishing that'll be different because a lot of times you're just sitting there doing nothing, so I can always cook. So today I did pick out a cool recipe. We are going to cook that black duck with some cherries and some sherry port and make a little bit of a sauce out of that, add some different spices to it. And I think it's going to be a really great way to eat this duck. So let's crack open a bottle of port and I'll get to cooking. See how this duck turns out. Okay, so this recipe calls for some port. I'm going to make myself a salad. So I just got some veggies in order to do that. We have a shallot, some butter, a variety of herbs, some and I almost forgot some cherries. We're also gonna have duck, of course, but I don't wanna contaminate my chopping board just yet. Now for starters, I'm just gonna prep up my, my salad just to get that done. And then that way, when I'm cooking, this will be all set. I can just store it in the fridge. So. Nice, salad's all finished up. I'm gonna set this in the fridge and then we're gonna get to cooking the duck. This is the first time I've ever had pork. Yep. Uh, it's it's okay. I mean, I'll drink it, but that is sweet. Holy It's gonna make a good sauce especially with those added cherries. I think it's gonna be really good, but um, I Don't think port is my drink of choice Definitely not. I don't like sweet things. All right. The sauce is going to be made up of And about a quarter stick of butter some salt pepper, and about, uh, I don't know, a couple handfuls of cherries. <laughs> this is all a guesstimate. I'm just going to put that probably right around medium until it comes to a simmer. Boil it down a little bit and then we'll see what we end up with. Okay, on to the duck. 
Okay, now I don't know the exact measurement, so I'm just going to cut some of this. Maybe about half, and we're going to cook that with our duck. I'm also going to cook that with some sage, rosemary, and thyme. And of course, we have the duck. Here's what we're working with. Some nice duck I harvested, our spices, and the shallots. Now we're going to cook all of these using some coconut oil. Um, I regret not saving the fat. That was just a rookie mistake. I didn't realize that duck fat would be so good. And so I decided to skin it in the future. We are going to do that differently. But instead, I had someone tell me that coconut oil goes really well with duck and geese. So we're going to use that. And I think a little bit of the sweetness from the oil is really going to add to the sauce that I'm making right now because this is going to be very sweet. So I think together they're going to go great. Well, that looks just absolutely awful right now. Let's hope that turns out better. I, I'm sure it's going to taste great, but right now it's just, it's not looking so hot. Yeah, it doesn't look so good right now, but I know it's going to taste good. Here we go. We got some bubbling. This concoction, this just, I don't, I don't even know what to think of this. It's, it's a concoction for sure. There we go. Mixing it made it, it looks a lot better once mixed. <laughs> that helped a ton. And thanks again to Cypress Creek. Beautiful knives. If you guys want a really nice knife, go check them out. I'm really grateful to have that. I appreciate that so much. There we go, a boil. This looks better now. Let's turn that down. I'll put that on, I don't know, about four. Whatever four means. Okay, let's go ahead, start cooking our duck. This up. Ah, uh, the pan could have been hotter. Oh, we'll go with it, I'll just turn it up. I'm gonna let that go about three minutes each side, then cut into it, see how it looks, and I'll go from there. After about two minutes, I'll add the wings, legs, their legs. Add in our legs. Smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and flip this breast for sure. Perfect. That looks really good. The legs as well. Yeah, those didn't cook enough on that side, but I'll, I'll flip them again. And then as far as our sauce goes, this is really thickening up. It took a little while, but it's definitely getting there. It needs to go a bit longer. Okay, duck is certainly done. See how she looks. Little overdid it there. Of course that, yeah, definitely overdid it. Inside looks a little better, but the end is gonna be overcooked. That's okay. This piece here is more or less to my liking, but a uh, little overdid it. Ooh, this one looks good though. I think that turned out quite well. And of course, we can't forget our salad. So I'll add some of that here. And that's that, I pretty much got everything wrapped up. This sauce is coming along. Actually, it's, it's done. I just need to let it cool for a minute. This thickened up beautifully. It's looking a lot more like syrup and it's still pretty warm, so. It'll thicken up a bit more than that. Final touches to the meal. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil because I don't because I don't actually have salad dressing. I usually just use olive oil. Keep things pretty simple. And for the final touch, 
add some cherries to this. Just like that. To top it off, we'll spoon some of this port sauce that we just made. Fantastic. That looks so good. This is the final product. Fantastic just to take a duck from the wild and then bring it here into this beautiful dish. I mean, that looks so good. This is what it's all about in my mind. The hunting is fun, but the finished product and what you get out of it is really the joy. The fruits of your labor, in a sense. So let's go enjoy this meal and thank the duck for its contribution. All right, did it. From the wild to the plate, pretty satisfied with how the results look, that's for sure. The only thing left to do really is just to try it out and then find out how well it actually turned out. And that way I can turn this bright light in my face off. So let's take our first bite here. Get some cherries with it. Mm. This turned out really, really good. Um, I both enjoy the taste of ducks and duck hunting. It was just so much fun. Probably a big obsession of mine coming up. Yeah, more so next year. But I just want to give you a peek of the duck. Well, I have to say, I really like how duck tastes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know I had to shoot inside and clearly I don't know how to shoot inside because of the lighting. It's very different than being outside, but it's something I might have to get used to through the winter. Unless I'm ice fishing, of course I can do stuff outside. But I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I personally had a blast. I got to try a new species. That was my first duck I've ever shot. And then we took it and cooked this beautiful meal with it. So. Overall, I think it was a fantastic day, and that's really what it's all about, is just going out, having a good time, and then taking that animal that you got in the wild, and then bringing it back, and then cooking a fantastic meal with it, and uh, really just enjoying the entire experience, and not just the hunting aspect of it. Uh, that's, that's really what I'm into. Uh, I encourage you to go try this recipe for yourself. Maybe I'll link it down below, but it turned out really, really good. And I'm gonna enjoy it with all these lights off. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Have a good night. Strange memories on this nervous night in Las Vegas. Five years later, six? It seems like a lifetime or at least a main era. The kind of peak that never comes again. San Francisco in the middle 60s was a very special time and place to be a part of. Maybe it meant something. Maybe not.